Good morning Uganda. I'm Pastor Senyonjo Vambusive from Vambusive Church in Nansana. I thank our God so much for giving us a new day. I know you may be going through a lot of problems, but I always remind you that as long as you are still alive, that's a very clear message to show you that there is hope to come out of whatsoever problem you are going through. So gain confidence by the grace of God. Go try again. Things will be better. Today I want to, before I go on, I thank you so much. People have been calling me after enjoying the words of wisdom and this prayer session. You give me cause. I love that so much. And don't forget to follow these teachings on uh, YouTube channel, PR Senyon Jova Mubusibe. You'll enjoy the teachings. I love that so much. Don't forget also this month, on uh, the last Sunday of this month, we have special service. Allow me to share with you the word uh, under a topic of relationships. Yesterday, I met two people who had conflicts. They were uh, once lovers, but a problem arose that a friend to the girl went and met the man and began to tarnish the name of her friend. He said, you know, this, uh, this woman or this girl that you love is having another man. You know this person is not very good. Sometimes when he comes from your home, he goes with other men. You can't even know where she is. She, she switches off phones and then she's just a player. So the man was uh, switched off and then turned against his lover. They were planning to get married this year, but now everything has gone down. Uh -uh. This reminded me of what happened to Esther. In the book of Esther, you know in the Bible there is the book of Esther. Esther was a woman, always a girl, who was desperate at, at one time because their clan was not one of the famous ones. So they were keeping themselves there as poor people in the kingdom where they, if you, you can follow the story, they were people of no value at that time. But Esther was called upon, I will not talk about the incidences that happened, if you can read in chapter 1, I cannot uh, finish all the story how it was. But Esther stood one time and prayed to her God with the uncle eh, and other people of their family. They said no. This time, if we are not joined to these people in proper way as humans, then let us call God to intervene into the situation so that what we can't do, that God can do it. Have you ever thought about that thing? In all the crisis that you have between you and people, from all the conflicts and problems that you have, because you will never avoid conflicts. In fact, the real ingredients of relationship it's all about challenges and uh, mistakes and misunderstandings. In a relationship, you can't avoid. Even as I speak now, there is a home or a people in a home who are like, you look at your husband or you look at your wife as if you are looking at a snake. Not because he, he, she or he was like that for the past two years or for the last ten years. No. Things began when it was bed of roses. But at a certain point, you don't know who intrude, intruded into your section. And then turned everything around. Even when you were a man, you look at your woman, then you don't exactly understand. Everything you suggest, she opposes. You say, which kind of woman did I marry? If it is a man, comes back very late and say, but where have you been? He say, who are you? You're asking me as who? I'm a man. You know, by nature, men don't want to, to say sorry. He rather get the money a million shilling and give you other than saying, no, baby, I'm sorry. So conflicts, wherever there is relationship, conflicts. In businesses, some of you are there, you got a job in peace. Maybe perhaps you, you, you went for interviews and you are granted a job. But from nowhere, you don't know what brought all that misunderstanding and division. You don't know who is confusing everything. You look at your boss, he doesn't trust you anyway. Even when you do good things, he looks at you and says, but I don't understand you. Say, what have I done? You do good things, you serve wholeheartedly, but he looks at you as if you were waste. And then you begin to be depressed. What will I do so that this woman or this man will know that I'm doing my, my part 
in this job. You are in a restaurant. But just at the end of the day, they say, you have made a loss of two plates. I'm talking about the labor now. Those people, are, I have my daughter uh, who is serving in a certain restaurant in Kampala. Just there in Katwe. And I was talking with her. She says, a day they give me, uh, one, uh, they give me 15,000. But surprisingly, at every end of the day, they say, you have lost a fork or a plate or somebody didn't pay. They cut the money off, money off. Then at the end of the day, instead of getting just 15,000, very little money, she gets 2,000. She was crying. Another one is working on a certain, a certain uh, petrol station. But instead of getting the 850 that they promised, because she's very powerful in working, she spends nights there, not sleeping, on the pump. How much? 20,000 in the tanker. How much? 50,000 in the tanker. At the end of the month, instead of 850, they say you have made the loss of again 900. So meaning that next, if it's a cash book, she's going to carry the debt to next month in a lot of sorrow. So conflicts are killing people. You are depressed because of conflicts. In the relationships, that thing is no more. It is there. But what I send to you as a prayer, may God protect you so that you not lose. Don't fight words that you can't finish. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't fight words you can't finish. Let God intervene. I send this prayer to you. And I believe God is going to bless you wherever you go. In relationships which are broken, he'll bring people back to you. Father, I first pray for people who are having problems with their bosses. Oh, bosses having problems with their employees at any level. I raise my hand in faith and I pray that may you join that bridge. I command all evil forces which are making people to be separated, even with no reason, because of weird words, false accusations, and such kinds of things. I pray that you break it. It goes away off their shoulders. I pray for favor upon workers. Some of them are teachers in schools, universities. Some of them are doctors, but they work, they are not tebasimi. Some of them are soldiers, army men, policemen. Some of them are just teachers at schools. Some of them are workers at farm. Some of them are shop attendants. Some of them are drivers. Some of them are operators of machine, but they are not appreciated. Bosses says don't appreciate their workers. Workers don't appreciate their bosses. May you intervene and bless everybody who is watching me now. I pray for favor to go and correct every mistake in the relationships. Also the relationships of love, man to woman, I pray that you correct them. Some of them are getting separated with no case, no reason. But I break that yoke off their shoulders. May you bring their love back. I pray for the broken love between parents and their children. Parents are hating their children. Children are hating their parents. Lord, it is written that when we love our parents, our days become more. I call upon your mighty hand to bless parents with children so that they will be in harmony, peace, joy, and love. I call upon your majesty to be upon religious people. Some of the people are in religion. They are in mosques. They are in churches of self-deeds. They are in Catholic churches, in Protestant churches, but conflicts are breaking them day by day. Lord, I pray that you come and intervene. Let there be favor for everybody who is watching now. May favor cover up you. May favor go with you. May you be favored in this year 2023. May you be favored in everything that you do. Be favored and favor will come with the signs, promotion, addition in payments, being loved, be appreciated verbally in everything. You will be appreciated. Women will be appreciated by being taken for introduction ceremonies, appreciated by having houses, donating to you good things from husbands. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be now and forever. We go. I thank God so much for that. May God bless you. I'm Pastor Senyon Jovamusibe. Call me for prayer, for counseling on 752 And you can WhatsApp me on 752 If you want to see me one-on-one, -on -one, 
come every Wednesday from 8 a.m. up to 3 p.m. Friday and Tuesday, we have fellowship at 5 p.m. And uh, on Sunday, we have fellowship on ten, at 10 a.m. Nansana, Vamusve Church, when you go to Nansana, there is a road called Nabweru Main Road, but opposite Nabweru Main Road, you'll find Vamusve Church. Don't forget, on my YouTube channel, PR Asenyonjo Vamusve, you'll share all the good message. May God bless your day. Go and be successful. Amen.